let's get to know garage band mari kita kenali garage band ok di sini garage band app click pada dia ok click on it and then this is the garage band ok this is mine and I have so many things going on ok banyak sangat benda ok the apple we always go for plus sign untuk nak buat projek baru kita pergi kepada icon plus ok so in garage band ok kita lihat dia ada dua item it has two items here one is live loops satu live loops and satu lagi is tracks the other one will be tracks now for live loops if you don't have as many as mine that means three pages you can go to sound library ok kalau tak banyak macam yang saya punya ni ada sampai tiga page ni right pergi ke sound library ya. ok pergi ke sound library tap on the sound library ok so here you can see something new like this one is new the rest I have already downloaded so kalau ada something yang new ada sesuatu yang baru dia akan letakkan sini new macam ni ok so maksudnya saya belum download yang ini lagi ok yang lain-lain semua saya dah download alright so kalau nak download yang tadi ni yang baru ok so if you want to download this just tap on it ok so you are the get and preview let's click on this get and you can see that it will install download and install ok but before you do that if you want to preview you can preview what the rhythm is all about uh, boleh preview dulu rhythm ni rhythm apa sesuai atau tidak ok uh, so boleh preview dulu baca description kat sini ok so you can actually baca lagi banyak boleh learn lagi so this installation and downloading downloading and installation is actually bergantung kepada wifi yang you ada ok so kalau wifi tu besar Story, uh, apa dia punya capacity then it will be very quick akan jadi cepat ok dah siap downloaded you boleh delete you boleh download lagi sekali so ini adalah untuk download um, all of this ok semua sekali di sini once dah sudah once you have done that once you have already downloaded it and installed it click on done ok click on done so you will have a lot here ok about sounds will be this one ok so sound ataupun bunyi you boleh pergi kepada moving machines ok moving machines so click on that now di sini adalah bunyi-bunyian kenderaan dan macam-macam lagi and so on so you can actually choose which one you want to use boleh pilih mana yang nak digunakan ok untuk keluar pergi kepada 3 squares ataupun you go to the 3 squares untuk keluar and kita balik semula ke sini yang interesting the most interesting thing ab about all these track records is planetarium Ok, so apa yang 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 lain daripada yang lain dekat dalam uh, live loops adalah planetarium. Ok, kita klik pada planetarium. Ok, click on planetarium. Now, you can see here that apa yang ada dalam ni, Apple dah beli daripada NASA. Ok, so Apple has already bought all this from NASA actually. Right, now di sini... If you can see, ini adalah instrumen dia. 
And ada satu yang microphone. So the microphone ni adalah suara uh, captain kapal uh, angkasa lepas yang di record di Houston. Okay, so this microphone here actually tells you that these are the recordings from the space missions okay done by apollo uh, astronauts okay jom kita tengok satu let's let's try this one here discovery go at throttle up okay 5 4 3 2 1 0 all engine running lift off we have a lift off okay lift off jadi yang lele ni you boleh cuba sendiri and kalau misalnya you ada nak buat uh, anime berkenaan dengan outer space ok boleh gunakan all the things kat dalam ni ok untuk claw balik kita pergi kepada yang tiga empat segi ni empat segi ni ada tiga kecil besar kecil ni pergi kat sini dan kita akan balik kepada life loops Okay, selain daripada tu, kita pergi kepada page kedua. Apart from that, let's go to the second page. And on the second page, we have Animal Kingdom. Okay, pada page yang dua ni, yang kedua saya punya, ada Animal Kingdom. Okay, Animal Kingdom ni boleh di-download dari sound library tadi. Okay, so this one can be downloaded from the sound library. So, let's check this one out. Tap on it. Okay, tap pada uh, Animal Kingdom. So, di sini, tepi ni menunjukkan bahawa banyak sangat binatang. Okay, so you have to identify mana satu. Kena kena pasti yang mana satu. And then, yang kat bawah ni adalah uh, environment. Okay, environment, katalah environment uh, laut. So, this here, this here is the ocean. So, the rest will be from jungles. Yang lain ni daripada hutan ke, daripada taman, uh, macam tu lah lebih kurang. Okay, boleh dengar sendiri. Di sini ada kucing. Okay, here we can hear cats meowing. Okay, tu bukan. Yang tiga ni lah. One, two, three. Then... Up here, if I'm not mistaken, kat atas ni ada bunyi uh, harimau ataupun bunyi uh, singa. Kat ada bunyi yang lain. Uh, bunyi burung. So, you can click and choose mana-mana yang you nak dari bunyi binatang. Okay, kita pergi balik kepada tiga empat segi ni. Okay, go back to the three squares. And we're out. Um, so, di sini juga terdapat uh, numbers. Okay, so we have numbers. We can click on it. So, ini adalah number uh, dalam bahasa-bahasa berbeza. So, you can actually listen to people from other places. Okay, when they actually mention the numbers. For example, each Okay, that's Japanese. Wahed. That's Arabic. E. That's Mandarin. One. Oh, that's English. Uno. Spanish. Ah. Uh. Otherwise, I'm not so sure. <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's go back to life loops. Um, apart from that, you have so many others here that you can listen to. Now, back to the first page here. You see you have... Uh, EDM, you have hip hop, you have others, and you also have traditional. Okay, the traditional one here is the Chinese uh, traditional and Chinese modern. Okay, this is Chinese traditional, this is Chinese modern. Um, so, in Adela, uh, Irama traditional China, Dari Negara China, and this is uh, modern. Lagu Chinese. 
Okay, so kita boleh tengok pada traditional Chinese. Let's look at traditional Chinese. So you can see kat sini ni, all the traditional Chinese punya instruments. Okay, here we can see the uh, Chinese traditional instruments. So if you want to hear something like this, you can just tap on it. Nak dengar yang ni, if you want to listen to this uh, instrument. That sounds familiar. Okay, and this one here. Okay, and then this guitar. Okay, and so on. So you can try it out on your own later. Okay, boleh cuba sendiri nanti. Di sini, this is where you can create your own music. Okay, kat sini you boleh create your own music. Uh, katalah kita ambil EDM ni. Okay, let's try EDM. Right, I am not a professional uh, musician. Okay, I have never, I only learned music when I was in secondary but that's it okay uh, so with this app I can actually create my own songs okay so let's try listen to something So, itu adalah satu contoh. That's an example of how someone like me who doesn't know much about music can create your own music. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so boleh, boleh, apa? Boleh cipta music kita sendiri dengan menggunakan all this yang ada di dalam live loops. Okay, untuk anime, you nak buat... Um, Dia punya introduction, punya uh, music, boleh buat di sini. Okay, let's go to tracks then. Okay, the tracks adalah instrumen. Okay, so if you are someone uh, who is good at playing a piano, playing a guitar, then you can go to tracks and you can find what you want to find here. So, for example, piano, okay, I will only use the smart piano. Hmm. So, this is piano. Let's go back. Then we have drums. I would normally go for smart drums.
ok so di sini adalah tempat yang mana you drag So you boleh buat you punya own drum uh, drum songs okay so you can create drum songs on your own right uh, AMP I've never used that but I have always used audio recorder now audio recorder kita boleh guna untuk nak uh, record kita punya voice untuk nak record bunyi-bunyi yang kita tak dapat di dalam uh, Apple loops ataupun live loops Okay, so you can use so you can use audio recorder to record your own voice or any other sounds that you might need sounds that you cannot find in the live loops okay so let's take a look at audio recorder tap on um, tap on voice okay tap on the voice study keluar ni lead vocals Okay, kita tak nak lead vocals because if you want to do an anime project or any other project, you akan cari narrator. Untuk nak save narrator ni, kalau you save narrator and click then, lepas tu buka balik. Okay, you can go to custom. Okay, and then you will find your narrator saved. Narrator here, save, ready, ready here. So, that's how you do it. You go to vocals. You click on radio ready for example and click save and done so it will be saved in custom okay so let's say i just want to use narrator so then you can see kat sini boleh nampak eh kita punya microphone ni daripada lead vocals tadi tukar kepada narrator kalau saya nak guna radio ready click done now dia radio ready okay uh, so di sini kita pergi kepada yang plus sign ni Okay, plus and kita tengok 8 bars, section A, 8 bars. So, here when you click on the plus sign and you see section A, 8 bars, what you need to do is just click on it. Okay, click pada 8 bars tadi and it should be automatic. Kalau dia tak ada warna hijau ni, please slide it. Yang ini tak ada warna hijau eh. Okay, so just slide it so that you nampak hijau, you can see the green here. That means you can... Uh, record as long as you want next seterusnya we go to settings ok settings kat sini so click on it ok pergi pada setting click metronome and count in so metronome ni adalah di atas ni yang tiga segi so just click on click on metronome and find no sound so click pada no sound kita tak nak dia dia Pising and masuk dekat dalam kita punya uh, recording. Okay, that's fine. The metronome in music, uh, yang ini yang saya dapat tahu daripada kawan-kawan yang memang um, uh, pandai music, is part of their lesson. Okay, so bila you nak record, you akan nampak nombor 1, 2, 3, 4, then record. Okay, record button is yang warna merah. Okay, this red uh, circle is your uh, recording button play and this one is reverse ok and then you know this one now uh, pergi kepada paling kiri sekali go to the farthest left this is the save icon so apa-apa yang you dah buat you can click here to save anything you have recorded please click this to save it now these three squares okay. yang ada tiga empat segi is to go back to the original page okay this yang macam batu-bata ni is actually your project okay so if you dah record nanti saya akan tunjukkan um, I'll show you how it's done and then how we can go here alright so this is the uh, space or interface of audio recorder okay 
Yang ini adalah yang tadi kita punya projek. And this is our microphone uh, radio ready. So when you record, it will be here. Okay. Let's go back to tracks. So that's audio ready. Itu tadi audio read. Uh, sorry, audio recorder. That's audio recorder. Okay, tadi itu adalah audio recorder. Now strings, I will normally go to smart here. Okay, so yang ini you boleh explore juga. Okay, cinematic. This is bass. This is guitar. Okay, itu cubaan saya untuk main gitar Which I don't think it works Okay, macam tak jadi Alright, so Siapa yang pandai main gitar You tahu the the notes apa semua Boleh gunakan itu And this is the world Yang mana traditional punya Okay, so this is uh, This is what we call as pipa Okay, so boleh explore. And then yang ini adalah erhu. Okay. <coughs> Kemudian, the next one is koto. Yang ini adalah Japanese uh, Jepun okay, So kalau nak buat lagu Jepun Boleh gunakan yang ini Buat cerita anime Samurai ke kan okay, So ini adalah um, Another one okay. So saya tunjukkan aja Saya pun tak pandai lagi Okay, so itu adalah Gujang. Drummer, external and sound library macam tadi and balik kepada keyboard. So, kalau misalnya tak pandai lagi music, boleh gunakan all the smart keys. Tapi kalau misalnya dah pandai, then you can, macam piano ni, you can go to Alchemy Synth. Okay, ataupun sampler ataupun more sounds right so you can actually explore so this is uh gar so this is garage band okay kita just nak tahu apa yang ada dalam garage band so we just wanted to know what's inside a garage band app so that's all see ya so itu saja that's all